Do you know if you're in vision state after the show? I know there's one for this. No, I don't think we have one. Did you know that I was going to have two times? That's going to be part of that option. So, what do we envision? What do we want? And if they split the district, that's it all. So, what is this thing like this? Start thinking about that. Just to give you guys an idea. Okay? And so, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you some of the data that I researched. And the reason that we research it is not for us to judge the school or anything. It's for us as administrators to get an idea. If you're going to step into this field, you need to know where they're at. You need to be realistic. It's not about like judging, because if you look at really in Greenfield, almost all the school years are so very similar. There's not one that's really necessarily presented anywhere. But we still, as, as principals or vice principals or anybody that works in the field, they have to look at these words and how are our students doing. And sometimes the data, um, it, it seems it's very young. Because every circumstance, so we have to think a lot of things about the population, where our students are, how many right. of our kids are engineers, how many of our students are female, and how many students are our kids with disabilities. So all of that has to be taken into account. How many of our teachers are women? <laughs> so all of that will be taken into account. Well, most of you guys are more concerned with math and just finding ways to yeah. support the students, like finding other ways to support. Okay. And then I'm going to go over the goals. That I have for the school doesn't mean that they're going to happen. They're just goals that I have envisioned for the school because I've been looking at all the data. The first one is a Oak Avenue school. At Oak Avenue school, 80% of ELL students will go by 10% of the kids that are already diagnosed and study math. So, what I would like to see in the school that I just showed you is to go up 10%. And if they go up 10%, that means that every year, if students went up 10%, you would see a slow increase. Yeah. And they'd be better. And I'm specifically targeting the first one because I just think that's any of the other sections, but those are the ones that we need to have more um, discussions and all that. So that's how we can get back to the teachers. Okay. And you're going to be your research teacher. Okay. So, well, she's really awesome. <laughs> so, like, like, um, oh, so yeah. she would be. Oh, she oh sorry. Be, she would be. No, it would, it's not Ms. Grant. So no, I know. Uh, she's going to be the research teacher and she's going to help with all of this. And we just want to target the needs of the students. Okay? Because right now, what we're saying is enough, that's a half a year. So we're saying that maybe that we can get three more months in and we're not doing what we need. Mm -hmm. So we know that these are not all things that we're going to do. Well, I mean, like, they're this, not secrets. Right. Yeah. And there's a, a boy that just got to my son's class, like, late. He speaks tricky. So it's like the teacher knows Spanish, but then she can't even communicate with him because he doesn't know Spanish either. That's the one that he's doing the best. Yeah. 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 And he just sits there all day long, and he's not benefiting from anything. They're going to push them off to second grade, and then what? It's, it's not fair to them either. Yeah. So what do you think about the school growth plan? What do you think about the growth plan? suggestions? Do you think any of them should be added, changed, or removed? Do you guys feel like those are areas that, that you feel strongly about? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And how can you we increase parent involvement and how we increase traffic on this and review it? I, I, as a parent, I think, like I said, that math workshop to me was amazing. It opened my eyes. So right. From all year, I've been to every conversation, I think, except for one. That has been the most educational to me. I think we need to use that for parents. I think the administration should teach us to teach our kids whatever they don't understand that. Here at school, we can teach them at home. But if we don't understand it, we can't help them. And I also think it should be offered for evenings because not everybody could make it Thursday at 8 in the morning. You know, I just barely stopped working recently because before that, I was only working. My so kids were in after school program and they'd get home and never have homework done because all they would do was play after school. So I think parent workshops is a must. I think they need to teach us. So. We can know how to help so them. So we can know how to help them. And you're talking about hands-on, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Not the ones where you guys come and sit no, there. Yeah. No, yeah. No, no, no. Yes. And would that include all topics like writing, reading? Right. Yes. Yeah. That would be cool for the math. And there was I really, I have a picture of this work and stuff. It's so good. 
Because we did one also on writing. No, it was just this last one. This just last a writing and story. It was just like talking well, to your students. Mm -hmm. We did one, but we did it a long time ago. We did it a few years ago. That was the coaches. Coaches, we yeah. did one on writing. Oh, we did that one yeah. where we did the book. Oh, yes. yeah. We did yeah. that one. Yeah. 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 Sorry, we've spoken with Veronica, and Veronica said she's going to talk to Tony about maybe us doing two and two. Two, two. One in writing and one in reading, and then mm -hmm. one in math talks. Yeah. Like, yeah, and Mr. Sanchez involved um, us all and was like, you know, what do you see? What do you see? You know, what do you see? And so we were just all into it.